Hello friends, in the previous tutorial we have installed the three things that uh, our browser, RAM server and a notepad plus plus. But I would like to show you that uh, where all these files are going to store if you write the PHP program. Click here and go to the C drive. It depends where you are installed and then go to the you can shift your vamp this is the main folder you can shift this vamp folder anywhere so click on the vamp and then click on the ww here whatever you are going to create local host will target this point this folder for example if i am going to uh, let me let's start with the programming that's we are going to write our first php program today click on notepad plus plus which i have already told you which I think you have already installed if you have seen the previous tutorial. Now getting started with the first PHP program, I am going to show you how to start with. First of all we are going to create a uh, angle bracket and then a question mark and then we will write PHP. Well there is the basic syntax for how the PHP starts. And then we are we close with the question mark and again with the angle bracket. So this is where this is the only place where we are going to write the PHP program but in this we can also write the HTML form this is not required not necessary right now but it is very important if you are actually going to create a website uh, write HTML and then you can insert your JavaScript code HTML codes any codes so PHP is good in this with that we are going to just write the first of our first PHP program write echo and then here write g l l o hello w o r l d word and then a semicolon this is it see a three line of code where we will print our hello world in PHP but before that in click control s uh, go to your PC and it depends where you have installed uh, here I have written oh, I have written technology lol it should be technology but ok technology and then go to where you have to find your ramp and then go to www and here ok let us create a new folder known as tutorial and we are going to store all our tutorials here only means all the PHP program and let it be ok let me show you an index mm. uh, hello hello dot see you can here we have already have a dot php dot php3 dot html you can save it like this and click on save or you can write hello dot php especially if you are using uh, only a text document don't forget to write dot php if you are using text document but with a notepad plus plus it's fine save here and then you have created a hello dot php file as we have created as i have already told you that uh, you have to log to your local host see if it's either working well or not and then backslash and then go to a tutorial folder t u t o r i tutorial and then backslash and then hello dot php see it's pretty simple so we have created our first php program that is of a hello world program but i am going to show you many things here okay let me tell you how to write a comment if you are going to write hash and write anything like this is my first php program there is a single like single line comment and slash star star slash and this is a multi line comment you can write anything in multiple lines and still the program the processor will ignore these comments this line and this multiple line and it will be comment and used for the developer only so that he can understand what actually you are going to do in different phase of programming uh, we are going to run this 
enter see it will come only hello world because no comment prints out in the program or interrupts the program in any way now i am going to teach you something about uh, variables normal not going to actually told you about variable but a simple reference this is where a this dollar a equals to hello birds you buddy buddy and then a semicolon the program terminates with a, a single line terminates with a semicolon so don't forget to write that and then you can echo dollar a uh, and then you are going to see the output hello buddies and then hello world see as we have not put any of the end of the line like we use br this is a dot operator which is used so that two things can be combined together and uh, like i will show you here in the dot and br do the next line br is used for the next line so that if you are writing something here and then it can actually this can separate with this in the next line in the output of the browser so i will show you this so you can see the hello world hello buddies are now in different lines now dollar of a dollar of a we always write dollar the dollar symbol which is there in the keyboard above the 4 and this is used to create a variable so that a uh, program the php would know now that you are going to do some operations in php stuff with the dollar dollar is used to create the variables and then hello buddies is stored in a dollar you would like to know that here we have not declared integer character anything whatever you are going to give a it will automatically process it in its own way like i am going to write 21 now the value of a is previously it was string but now it's integer now i'm going to print that so 21 is the output hello world is in the next line uh, two strings can also be concatenated uh, dot is also known as concatenation operator we will write the space first and then we can write hello world hello all see we have put a dot operator which is a concatenation operator in php and you can see hello world and hello all together see hello world and hello all so that's it for the this tutorial we will do the next uh, and some more stuff in the next tutorial so we have learned about the comments single line comment multiple multi line comments as uh, something about variable and how to declare a simple variable and then echo echo is used to print that echo is used here so that we can print the stuffs so echo is mostly used in php to print so that's it for thank you for watching